see. Ah, return to a new phone. You can't. See, we have to turn the phone. No, I think no. it's all right. Um, I hope we're not upside down. <laughs> so here we are. These Which, moments. No, we're just going to give it a try. <laughs> These were the elders. Remember, it's been a long time, hasn't it? It's been a hell of a long time. It's a long time since we last spoke to you and you know you may have to turn your phone and we're on our heads or something because we're trying to manage this technology. So an yes. official an official hello. Hi, it's Juliet here and lovely Marby. Hello, hello. And we're together in France, in southwest France. We oui, la France, Viva la France. So here we are in this <laughs> beautiful Marby's beautiful garden. And um beautiful garden. And I wish to give an homage to to this place because this is we're moving into our six months without rain except for two days, two days in the last six months. So I really want to give homage to Mother Nature. And today, today, Mother Hen, while I was away, Mother Hen sitting on her eggs it's has given. given birth to eight, eight, eight. Eight little chicks. A fabulous number, eight. Eight chicks. Eight. Oh, don't shake the table, Brigitte. Eight, the Otherwise divine, the will, divine will number. Eight, the yeah. infinite. The infinite number. So here we are, and um, I'm quite wired and tired because I flew out here yesterday, and then we were up doing our yabber, 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 until late into the night. and yeah, uh, till we be after midnight. So excited to be mm. here, and... Brigitte had warned me that the energies are very intense here, and I think they are, and um, <laughs> yes, so we tried to do a siesta under the trees, but we couldn't, we couldn't do that because mm. so wired, and I had the idea that maybe we can do a little live video and say hi, and a big, big apology because we kind of dropped off doing our elders' wisdom without warning, and um, yeah, we've been working really hard since then, even though we haven't done the Elders' Wisdom, because we have been holding our respective centres, so to speak, our inner centres, which, uh, you know, resourcing, but holding the centres, holding the community. And it's been a hell of a hard time, hasn't it? Has it been a hard time? It's been pretty intense with the energies and what's rolling out everywhere. And as feel what's been the most challenging is the witnessing in presence of um, so many people around who are experiencing uh, injuries injuries and trauma death yeah and death and um, I haven't yet met one family who has not been touched. impact touched yes yeah, impacted. Touched. yeah yeah every every family has been impacted in one way or another and we're caught in not just with those first wave of things that we were concerned about, but now, mm. now we're witnessing wave after wave of all sorts of um, things. And I was telling Brigitte last night about the woke agenda. So um, she, yes, she didn't. Yeah. She wasn't familiar being in France. Not so familiar with that term. But I've been following it a lot. And and what the uh, Democrats in America have been rolling out in terms of mind control um, and mm. altering people's consciousness and getting them to believe things that simply aren't true. And there's lots of things like that, like the whole thing about what's happening with the weather and what's happening with. Um, with health and um, so many, so many fake agendas and, and um, falsehoods that we've been, yeah, that we're people are believing in, and it's so distressing. And like last yes. night, I was telling um, RB about the whole thing about um, changes of, of like telling people that uh, they weren't one one sex or another telling little children and, and getting them really really confused about things so so that's what we were talking about and, late. and today with a birth suddenly there was this delight suddenly of seeing this mother while I was away by the ocean witnessing the changes and witnessing as well uh, the weather like every evening the sunsets which were beautiful before you would see the red sun going down. Uh, the, every evening there was this kind of curtain of grey 
uh, coming over it and and most people don't even realize that this is just um, yes the weather being manipulated they have the technology to do that that technology over 80 years ago was offered to humanity however it's like everything we can use something for the good of life or we can deviate that and and misuse that technology my feeling right now is it has been misused and uh, it's been misused in France it's been misused to roll out that there is a global warming I'm not saying there isn't a change in the planetary weather but um, there definitely is some hidden agenda so um, well, hidden in plain sight isn't it? It, it yes we are seeing everything now in plain sight you're yeah. right yeah. you're right every everything is coming up in your yeah. face and you yeah. can either be completely mesmerized and believe it's not happening or you can see it mm. and you can be very distressed and then you have this polarity within families like some of the family members are seeing the one side of this and the other members are seeing the other and then mm. there's this conflict because we've got two different realities or multiple realities going on at the same time mm. and it's really distressing and there's this conflict and it's really really painful I mean it is, I, it is painful we were talking last night how very painful how very stressful it is right deep into our nervous systems um, yes and it's not that we are neither Juliet nor I we are not in the I am presence I am surrendering uh, because we're both very consciously aware that there is a much higher divine plan unfolding however as we are witnessing now in plain sight all this what was hidden what were hidden agendas what were enslavement programs what were colonialization hundreds of centuries ago we were colonializing other countries then we started colonializing other other places life you know. itself and now we're <laughs> colonializing the body with um, nanotechnology yes nanotechnology and now um, there is a colonializing of the genders of, of our children so today witnessing this hen who's been sitting on eggs this is a young hen uh, why did she go broody I have no idea <laughs> but uh, I've had hens before and they didn't used to go broody and I was just asking the universe uh, six months ago how interesting how um, animals are changing um, and how what used to be a very natural process of hens being broody now it's quite a rare occurrence and then I went and bought three hens and out of those three one went broody is that be, why is that rare I mean <laughs> hens go broody I mean the point I want to make is, is about in nature the male you know the it's the nature the nature is a uh, hens naturally do go broody so what's changed when you say oh well you haven't seen them go broody for a while is that because weather patterns are disturbed or I think weather patterns have been disturbed. Or they're being sprayed from the skies with yes. poisons definitely things. there has been a shift so I'm a little bit sort of shocked to witness a birth as we're entering into winter yeah so it's it's the, you it's know. the time in the season so yeah. <laughs> hens normally go broody but the point we were we were talking about is male and female it's yes. like it's interesting because we've been friends for a very long time <laughs> <laughs> and we, we were leading before we ever met we were leading parallel lives with like I've had six children you I've, had five children I've, I've, I have five life children yes yes yeah and, 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 and I've many grandchildren four live children. yes and, and how many yeah. grandchildren do you have well, I've got 16 grandchildren 16 grandchildren and I'm a newbie with in grandmotherhood I've only got two grandchildren so that's beautiful every yeah. single birth I ever had was either a male or a female and my children are male or female same and for me same for you and yes. your grandchildren as well yes so when they're yeah. born the beautiful thing my, fa my father having been a, um, a doctor was delivering babies and he was delivering cattle as well 
this was wartime, going skiing in a, in, a, in a place in France, in the Ardèche, uh, where in the winter you have uh, three to four months with two to three meters deep in, in snow. So farmers and um, small villages don't have doctors, right? Mm. So the feeling is, um, my dad used to deliver mothers and, um, and cattle too. And the first thing that the, the, the people would be asking, what is it, doctor? And he would say, oh, it's a boy. It's a boy or it's or a girl. it's a girl, doctor. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and then my dad would be rewarded with a dozen of egg or um, something else. Because in those days, you paid, you were paid um, in, uh, what do you call it? Um, Cattle? <laughs> no. No, 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 no. Not, not, not after war. Milk. Some, sometimes milk, sometimes yeah. a dozen of eggs. Um, sometimes if it was um, saving life, something much bigger. Yeah. You know. So in all the the other thing that's been parallel with Brigitte and I, Mabi, and uh, is that we've both um, had small holdings. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> you told me you used to when your children were little, you had you raised pigs and yes, geese, hens, to, um, oh, um, sheep, goats, and um, guinea fowls. Yeah. And interestingly enough, I've also had. <laughs> small holdings several times and I've had goats and chickens and geese and yeah. pigeons and rabbits yeah. and hens and ducks lots of animals and neither of us ever have ever seen anything but either male or female there are two genders I want to make this really clear yeah. there are two genders yeah. there aren't a hundred genders there aren't 12 genders no no okay. no no so this is our well, eldest... Some, sometimes Mother Nature has a twist. Sometimes Mother Nature has a twist, okay, within the chromosomes. We're not going there. But what I want to say, globally, it's female or male. Yeah. So what's going on with what is being rolled out right yeah. now, it's, it feels very insane. Uh, we're discussing how nauseous uh, I feel I experienced some of these, uh, what you call them, drama queens? No, they're not called drama queens. <laughs> no, no, not drama. I'm a drama queen. <laughs> no, the uh, sex, the, the, sex the, the, the drag queens. The, the drag, drag queens, queens, yes. The Ooh. drag queens. So, so we're talking about the deliberate, yeah. confusing yes. of little children's minds yeah. and what a crime that is. It's like... Yeah. The, um, the critical race theory that's been rolled out in schools in America has now been yeah. introduced into England. And France. And, and, and also making it illegal for parents to yeah. actually intervene in any way whereas their minds are being corrupted mm -hmm. by this um, a Marxist program confusing mm. children and telling them that it's wrong, that there's no such thing as male and female, but there's a whole host of genders and manipulating their minds so that they begin to believe that they're somewhere on this spectrum mm. of these different genders, which is quite clearly a nonsensical totally. and an evil agenda. Yeah. And then yeah. the, the poor children are really distressed and then begin they believe mm. this and then they begin to feel like they're born into the wrong body because that's the ideology that's being mm. taught to them. And it's interesting because this is happening after the last two and a half, three years of the quarantines, the mask wearing and the mandatory experimentation where it's put a huge amount of pressure on, on parents, on grandparents and on children yeah. and on newborn. So we're not saying that we're unsympathetic for any child no, or young no. person finding themselves in that position. Oh no, I'm not on the and contrary. Now, and now they're confused because they think they're a the other sex no because there is there is a huge issue after all this uh, being hiding your face who am I what is my identity what is my community where do I belong there is such layers of collective trauma ongoing unfolding right mm. now and and there is all this other stuff now being rolled out with this um, yes colonialization of gender. I'm shocked. 
So the, the woke agenda, the, the, what's arising out of the democratic thing, which mm. is a Marxist, we think yeah. we, 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 we're being taught like, oh, the, the right is fascist and they're taking over the world. But what we're actually seeing is the left is fascist and it's communist and it's Marxist. And that's what's taking over the world. Mm. And you'd or green, attempting to. And it's under the green, the green agenda. Yeah, it's the, and, the, and the Great it's, Reset. It's like, it's <laughs> we, I was a militant, not militant, but I was like totally, um, totally believing in all that stuff until a couple of years ago. I, I'm a, you know, I've been recently called a racist and a sexist by my children. Can you, be, well, you might believe that, but I care, both of us care really deeply about people and about the planet, and now... We do. We're serving. I mean, we're both totally serving the planet. I mean, I'm rescuing, uh, I'm rescuing chickens. I bought three hens because they were scooped in this little place in the shop, and I felt really sorry for them. So my heart was really going out, and I felt really sorry as well for these cockerels. Mm. Uh, which landed in my in my garden, which are not my cockerels, but they chose to live here. But the whole thing with the Marxist agenda, you know? the right wing, is like you have to be politically correct, and if you actually uh, question that there's anything wrong with this idea of 12 genders or there's anything wrong with this idea that the, um, the planet's climate is changing, if you question those things, then you're politically wrong, and then you're attacked. And... Mm. Um, in America, they talk about the cancel culture. So there's a lot of great people standing up against us now. Like, um, oh, I showed we showed Neil Neil, Neil Oliver, Neil Oliver, last and night. JP Sears and oh, JP um, Sears too, and, um, and Hugo Talk, Hugo, yeah, Hugo, <laughs> and and this brilliant Canadian. Yes. Um, what's his name? I don't know that one. Oh, it'll come in a moment. But anyway, there's lots of people. There's a millions. My battery a bit low, so you might lose. We're filming this simultaneously, two phones. I hope you get it. So, <laughs> yeah, this is wrong. This it's it's mind control. It's a de deliberate attempt to confuse people's minds, to split families. But and especially the children, they're under attack right now. After years where the children really went for something that really, I mean, you imagine three, four, five, six-year-old upwards, having to be hiding behind a mask, having to see their teachers behind a mask, having to go shopping behind a mask, or having to stay in quarantine as you're an adolescent. So many, many of the young ones, because they felt uh, trapped, they felt imprisoned being in their homes, they ended up going with the... Um, experimentation yeah. so they could go to parties so they could see their friends yes yeah, so the children have been under attack in all sorts of ways so yes. with this this thing about gender that's another that layer it's it's been kept secret from parents have been kept out of this they're not allowed they're even threatened with imprisonment in in the USA in Australia but meanwhile children are being offered which is really evil hormones hormones yeah. puberty blockers yeah. and then surgery not just surgery that cuts off the genitals but surgery that uh, removes ribs that shaves off the brow bone that change, tries to change the whole structure of a person of yeah. a person to make them look like the other side well this is really evil to roll out and, and these are pretty grotty um, gruesome Gruce, yes, yeah. not gritty, gruesome, I'm sorry, I'm not English, gruesome uh, details Juliet has just mentioned. Yeah. But if you do your research, this is a reality. I remember at the age of 14, I had a near-death experience, and then my dad was in uh, injecting me every day hormones. And every time he did it, he cried, and he said, I'm really, really sorry, because I don't know what they're going to do to you. But he was coming from the heart. Now, where they're coming from is not from the heart. It's a taking over of our children's bodies, of our children's healthiness, of our children's DNA, of our children's sense of identity and sanity. Sanity. Yeah, sanity. So, you know, this is all a bit heavy. My battery's going to run out in a minute, but I want to give you hope. I've got a few more things I want to share, but I want to give you hope that we're rising in our millions at this point in oh, time. Oh, we are. We definitely uh, are. And, and, and the energies are supporting us. Yeah, the uh, we, we, we are in astrology, but we are going through the Fulton Belt. And uh, this is the end. We've just been through the 
the moon in Scorpio and the eclipse and on the 8th of November we will move at zero degree of Aries which is a new beginning so hang on in there <laughs> hang on in there yes. uh, because that's going to set up the energy for Mars even though Mars is retrograde right now so and square Neptune so there's still a lot of illusion still a lot of not clarity but it's not going to be there forever so hang on in there dearest loved ones <laughs> uh, <laughs> because the Fulton belt is we are getting the most amazing Fulton lights and people are waking up that we are remembering webbings of light and we have the most amazing keys so can we go in the heart can we share of our wisdom so when we meet other people there's nothing we need to say just stay in your heart and radiate that solar energy of who you are born to be yeah the absolutely. rest will fall it's falling down we it's like Juliet was saying we're seeing it in broad daylight me being by the ocean I was seeing every evening with my sister the curtain of gray coming over the Sun yeah so don't go we're coming up to the 31st of October and this is a um, a very dark time for the global elite for the uh, where the, the satanic practices don't go with this idea of Halloween it's a satanic thing and as Ka uh, Tucker Carlson said um, recently it's a, a child um, sacrifice culture that they're trying to push so the the Satanism is one thing the the whole abortion and I'm not I'm not against this is complex so I'm trying to give you so much stuff in a nutshell this, maybe we'll do another elders wisdom <laughs> yeah we're, but maybe we have to start doing again but so much has been hijacked and that um, you think you're supporting a good thing like women's rights or or the rights of um, indigenous communities but it's cynical the way people have been hijacked so they're giving their yeah. energy to what's actually an agenda to manipulate and control mm -hmm. them so the mm -hmm. whole abortion thing it's like there are the abortions are being used to create products that go into the the food chain that go into the medical chain into the beauty industry I mean yeah. that's one thing that's completely horrific yeah. so children are being attacked in that way children are being attacked through the um, manipulation of their agendas they're being attacked by um, the the lockdowns they're being attacked by the uh, use of lethal shots into them so many ways that our children are being attacked so take care take care of your children yes and do watch Neil Dime Neil um, Oliver, Oliver. Um, he did a very beautiful video I think it was three days ago yeah I posted it on my timeline yes so, that's, so that's it's, very it's a very beautiful one when he links um, what happened in Paris with this young 12 year old who was found murdered to uh, founding, uh, discovering um, archaeologist in uh, Peru, uh, three young people who had been uh, sacrificed. Yes, yeah, so children so are being sacrificed. That was eight, six to eight hundred years ago. So the key here is, can we just create a little bit more spaciousness in our lives to really say we are going to... Um, accept not just to keep the lead and and put our head in the sand and pretend it's all good it's all okay and it's all going to resolve itself by itself no we each need to become more consciously present witnessing and um, backing what's the word really being there uh, to witness the collective trauma coming up the individual trauma but what is rolling out with the uh, the, the great reset that yeah. is being um, presented to us as the best thing ever for humanity but it's not we go with the great awakening and that's happening yes it's uh, the greater awakening is please wake up wake up and be mindful that every year tens of thousands of children disappear most of us we don't want to acknowledge that yeah human because it disturbs us child trafficking 
yeah, you we... know, the whole thing with Epstein, the thing with um, Jimmy Savile, the, the thing with the royals, it's all coming to light. So hold on to your your seats. There's a lot of disclosure coming on, but it's an, an amazing cleansing. And we're all standing up against this incredible evil that's unfolding at this. We that need, has been. We it's need just to coming see it. to light. We, we need, need to, to see, see it. it because it's been going on for thousands of years, as yes. Neil Oliver has pointed out. But we but this need, is not new. This yeah. has been going on for a long, long time. And we are part of that. So may I invite you, check out your thought forms. Check out when you project onto anyone or anything. Check out when you're cutting a tree down or when you're eating food. How am I with that? Can you please honor whatever your choice is? Because this is going to have an impact on the whole of this uh, cosmos. We are very, very powerful. Remember, we are the most powerful human beings. Human beings. Our heart is more powerful than our brains. So remember, when you hold a thought, what are you co-creating? So a thousand blessings. Yeah, lo lots of blessings to you. All my love to you, each one of you, whatever you're going through at this moment in time, whatever, wherever you're at mm. in, in your lives, it's an immensely um, mm. challenging time. And remember, only keep from this video what touches you. We're only sharing as elders, and we're sharing because we are both aware that the young ones, the parents, Parents of our children, parents of other children, and grandparents are all facing major, major challenges and ordeals. We're having to make choices. So we are there with you. We are not separate. Let's unify in this field and know you're not alone. Blessings. And it's Mabby. And Juliet. <laughs> I'm sorry, Juliet. I'm a bit of a mess. <laughs> I'm not sure how to turn mine off. So I'm still live, please bear with me. So um, my phone is on a little bit of a go slow at the moment. So let me see.